So you're a college student. A typical day for you consists of going to class for a couple hours, taking notes and studying for a couple more hours, and the rest of the day is spent either watching Netflix or playing video games. As you're thinking about your day-to-day -day life, it starts to seem repetitive, almost boring. There's nothing in your life that provides any meaning at all. You're, in all sense of the word, lost. And to make your situation worse, you're broke. You've recently wanted to go skydiving, but you can't afford to spend $300 on something that isn't absolutely necessary. You need a change. A change in lifestyle. A change in direction. Just something to make your life a little better. You start to read self-development books. You start to listen to business podcasts. And you come to the conclusion that you don't want to be over your head in student loan debt. You don't want to spend the next four years of your life working for something you don't even know if you want. You're going to follow the advice of every business mogul on social media. You're going to be an entrepreneur and you're going to start your business online. And you know that it's possible. You see those ads on Instagram, those ads on YouTube, you know, the ones that tell you, and these eight stores are exact duplicates and the one that's generating me almost $7,000 yesterday. You see all these internet entrepreneurs buying fancy houses, going to crazy parties, driving brand new cars, and even chartering private jets on occasion. And best of all, the travel. They get to go wherever they want, whenever they want, all while only working a couple hours a day. These people are living your dream life, everybody's dream life all at an age that doesn't even seem real. So you follow them, just out of curiosity. But as you start to see their content more, and you start to appreciate the fruits of their labor, you start taking some of their advice. You start to question how exactly they get to live their life in luxury. How they get to live a life Jordan Belfort would envy. And the best part? Most of them will teach you. They'll teach you exactly how they went from being more broke and unhappy than you are, to earning more than $100,000 per month. All you have to do is enter their free webinar or get their free book. So you enter your email address and you get started on your journey to financial freedom. And even if it doesn't work out, the most you have to lose is a little of your time anyway. The first option everyone sees is dropshipping. You've probably heard of it. And you know a couple of people who have already tried it and failed. So dropshipping probably isn't it. Well then maybe day trading. Well the first thing you hear is that 90% of traders lose money. And you don't like those odds. Plus the opportunity of day trading the stock market is going to be around forever so you try to find something else. What about making money trading cryptocurrencies and altcoins? Well, most of the coins that you'd be trading don't actually have any value in a falling market. And you know the crypto markets can be really volatile and scammy. Plus, you don't really understand all the hype around crypto these days, so you move on. Well, what about this one? You'd be selling another company's products to other people for a markup. It's called affiliate marketing, but there isn't any clear direction, and finding products that'll give you a profit margin is really hard. And usually what affiliate marketing turns into is just selling another guru's overpriced course for them. So you keep looking. Then you find something. An online business that doesn't seem like a complete scam. It's called Amazon FBA. Now it's not perfect. It costs a lot of money to start. It's really time intensive in the beginning and it takes a while for you to make any money. But it still sounds pretty nice if you can get something established. Side note, I have about three years of experience selling on Amazon, and the journey you're following along is mine. Back to the story. Well, now you've decided you're gonna sell your products on Amazon.com. Now, how exactly do I go about doing that? Well, according to just about every successful person I've ever heard, the correct answer to that question is find somebody who's already sold on Amazon and learn how to do it from them. So you look it up and you find a guy named Kevin David. He's pretty persuasive, but he seems really scammy on his webinar because it's not easy to get rich. And that's why most people, when they reach the age of retirement, right, they can't retire. I'm lazy, I don't wanna work hard, and I wanna make a lot of money. So, I mean, if you're like me, and you're lazy, and you don't wanna work very hard, but you wanna make a lot of money, then this opportunity is gonna be perfect for you. But let's say, for the sake of the story, that you find someone you connect with, like I did. They give you a roadmap on exactly how you're supposed to set up your Amazon business. It costs $500 but it's well worth the price of admission to find out exactly how I can sell on Amazon and make my millions. Wow, it's already been two weeks. Time really flies when you're being productive, huh? But I better get started building my business or I'll miss this opportunity altogether. Now, the first step according to the course you just bought is finding the product you're gonna sell. Well, my guru is telling me that finding products is way easier if I get some software to help with that. That software is $70 per month. But that sounds a little expensive, doesn't it? But they're all business expenses. And the money you're spending now to find the right product will make you a lot more money in the future. So you buy the software. And using your software, you find the product that's gonna change your life forever. 
Let's say your perfect product is, I don't know, these light up party sunglasses. Great. Now you need to find someone who can make it for you. So you follow your guru's advice and you go to this magical website called alibaba.com, a website that allows you to make anything under the sun. There's even a 30 foot water slide on here. So you find a bunch of manufacturers and they quote you a price, $2 per unit. I can sell this for $10 right now. And there are people selling millions of these exact sunglasses on Amazon as we speak. Perfect, you buy a thousand of them for $2,000 plus $750 for shipping and other fees. Now you need to make your product stand out. So you follow your guru's advice and hire out your logo design on fiverr.com using his referral link, of course. And you pay someone $10 to design a logo for you. And you pay another person $20 to design all your packaging looks. Sure, you didn't anticipate having to spend this much money on random stuff to make your millions, but going through all this boring stuff is going to allow you to become financially independent. So this investment in your company had to be made. And after all that, you still need to design the most important aspect of your business, your Amazon listing, sales copy, your description, and your photos all need to be spot on if this product's going to change your life. So you write your sales copy, you take some pictures on your phone, and you take them into Photoshop and make them look awesome and boom, you're done. All the work needed to make your product successful is completely done. Sure, you spent the past two months working nonstop on this product and sure, you don't really have a social life anymore, but you just built something awesome. And then your product goes live. The first thing you feel is excitement. Yeah, you've been excited before, but this just feels different. An almost indescribable rush of nervous anticipation for what you just did. I mean, this is the culmination of the past two months of work and all that hard work is about to pay off. I mean, look at this progress. In two months, you went from being a broke, sad loser to having a real product available to purchase across the nation. So naturally, you tell everyone you know your parents, your family, your friends who you haven't seen in a while, and everyone is happy for you. Everyone can see that you're building something great and everyone is rooting for you to succeed. Eventually, a couple of those people buy your product. You just made your first sales. Honestly, the feeling of someone seeing your listing and trusting you with the purchase of the item you are selling is one of the best feelings in the world. You can feel this momentum start to build and your excitement is almost palpable. Stop, wait a second. Amazon just charged you $3.50 to ship your product to the customer. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. But what about this $1 per unit charge Amazon is giving you just because you don't have a professional seller's account? Or what about this $150 per month it costs just to store my products in Amazon's warehouses? Or what about the $30 per day that I'm spending on advertising? Wish my guru would have told me that when I was first starting, but never mind that. This is still super exciting. You're finally starting on your entrepreneurial journey. And then you wake up and you realize you spent about $3,000 and you still haven't even made 10 sales. It's been two weeks and you still have about 993 units you still have to sell. You start to doubt yourself. You know that you aren't anywhere close to starting a legitimate business. You're bleeding money every single day your listing is active. Okay, get yourself together. You have to figure out exactly what's wrong with your product and you have to fix it quickly. Okay, so what do you need to do? Well, for starters, your marketing plan was non-existent. Your sales copy Your sucks. photos are awful. Your listing looks terrible. Amazon isn't even promoting your listing anymore. And worst of all, you're getting texts from your family and friends who bought your product saying it came broken or damaged. So rightfully, you get mad at your guru. He should have told me to form a marketing he plan. He should have told me to spend a lot of time writing good sales He should have copy. been more realistic. Well, that's great. Your guru kind of sucks, but your business is still bleeding money. Now what? You decide to take a little break. It's been months now, and your entire life has revolved around your new business. And a break would help you fix your business with fresh eyes. After your well-deserved break, you decide you need a fresh start. You have experience now, and you can see exactly why your business failed the first time and what you're gonna do differently. Your issue the first time was you weren't spending money in the places that mattered. So you decide to get premium $800 photos for your listing, a $500 marketing plan, $300 for listing optimization, and you decide to spend as much time as you need to make your sales copy as good as possible. And you know this decision is the decision that's gonna help save your business. After all, that is what everyone's been saying. 
but saving your business is still gonna take a lot of work on your end. Lots of sleepless nights and countless hours. So you decide to start watching some hustle content for some motivation. You get deep into this hustle culture. You start cutting back on sleep and exercise to make more time for work. It becomes the only thing on your mind. You know you need to become completely obsessed with becoming the best version of yourself if you wanna make your dream of resurrecting your business a reality. After months of nonstop work and thousands of dollars spent, it's done. It's finally done. Your company is completely rebranded. All of your hustling has paid off. Sure, it took another two months of 12 to 16 hour days with no time off to make all this happen. And sure, you dropped out of school to pursue your dream of financial independence. And sure, you borrowed $10,000 from your middle class parents, but it's all gonna be worth it. And then some, when you're financially independent and you're finally ready. You can see exactly where you went wrong in hindsight. You went cheap in the worst places. Your marketing sucked. Your listing was bad from the very start. And you listened to terrible advice from someone who probably isn't even selling on Amazon. But you know that you've done everything better than you did the last time. And after all that work, and after taking on all that risk, you click a button and your Amazon listing is live for a second time. And as you're sitting there, you notice. This time feels different. You feel prepared. You feel educated. You feel free. So you start to daydream about what your future holds. But then you wake up. Months have passed and you're still losing money. Your expensive and time-consuming marketing plan didn't work. Your listing isn't as good as you thought it was. And on top of that, every sale, every day, you are burning money. The expenses are just too high. And quite frankly, you're finally starting to run out of money. So you start to experiment. In a panic, you start running some Google ads, some YouTube ads, some Facebook ads. You'll do anything you can to try to recoup some of your initial investment. But you have to admit, you're losing steam. Physically, mentally, and emotionally, you're exhausted. You've lost any resemblance of a social life. You haven't spoken to anyone outside of the Amazon community for months. You're mentally unstable, depressed, out of shape, and you can finally see the writing on the wall. You were never the one who was supposed to make money this entire time. Your gurus, the ones teaching you how you can make it, the ones teaching you about financial independence, gain their financial independence, teaching other people how to start a business, they've never started themselves. They have been making hundreds of thousands of dollars, teaching the same information to thousands of other vulnerable people. They make their money by teaching their followers how to run a business that flat out doesn't work for the vast majority of the people who try it. Not only by having their followers buy their expensive course, but also by putting affiliate links in the videos and by taking sponsors who pay them to peddle unnecessary software to their followers. What about the software companies? They've been making money off of you this entire time too. From finding new products to marketing them for you, you've been using their software in the background to make this process just a little easier on yourself. What about the people manufacturing the product for you? What about the freelancers designing your packaging and logo? What about Amazon? Now, I'm not against people and companies making money, but when there are so many people and companies making so much money off of you running your business, it becomes very hard for you to make money running your business. You're still a college dropout, barely able to make rent with the money you borrowed from your parents. And you have no career prospects or real skills outside of running your Amazon business. But honestly, you're just exhausted. You put everything you possibly could into this business and it just didn't work out. Traumatized by this experience, you realize that running a business is hard, very hard. And you can see now that the industry you put everything you had into was a doomed one from the start. Unfortunately, this lesson cost you about $8,000 and about a year of your life, but you still crave the freedom of financial independence. Seeing it and coming so seemingly close to having it only makes you want to have it more. But now you're staring face to face with an ultimatum. You either pursue your dream of financial independence online or you go back to the security college provides. After some intense deliberation, you decide to enroll back into college, back into the system. Realistically, you have no money. You have no motivation. You're completely exhausted and you aren't in a good place mentally. So you file the paperwork necessary to get back into school so you can get a job and enter back into the rat race that made you so sad and miserable in the first place. Now I know this video is kind of a downer, but I'm just documenting my experience. 
I'm sure there are completely legitimate ways to make money online, but from my experience, Amazon and similar business models aren't a good way to do so. Something I don't think the online entrepreneur community really talks about is the fact that running an online business is just as hard, if not harder, than running a brick and mortar shop. They make this industry out to be quick and easy money, and the fact of the matter is that it isn't. And entering into the industry these gurus peddle is one of the worst financial mistakes you can make. On a separate note, there's a lot of nuance to running an Amazon business that just wouldn't make sense to put in this video. And I know this won't be an accurate description of every Amazon seller, but it will be an accurate description of most. Also, the product I sold wasn't a cliche pair of party sunglasses. That industry on Amazon is way too saturated. As stupid as it sounds, I sold over $135,000 worth of shoulder braces on Amazon. I even had sales of $19,500 in one month. The reason I'm making this video is to show that even if you have a little bit of success in terms of sales, you still probably won't make that much money running an e-commerce business. And I know I definitely could have ran my business better, but I wasn't college age when I started my Amazon business. I was in eighth grade. These gurus were marketing and taking advantage of my naive perceptions about how to make money in this world. And they will do the same thing to you if you're not careful. If you're curious, I ran my Amazon business from when I was in eighth grade or when I was 14 till about the middle of my junior year or to when I was 17. But if you were to take away one thing from this video, it would be not to take any business advice from a person selling a course for more than $50 at the very most. Now, I don't have a problem with online education. I even have a Skillshare subscription. I mean, Skillshare taught me how to edit and animate the very video you're watching right now, but Skillshare courses aren't $500 each. Another thing I wanna say is to make sure to only take advice from people online that you respect. There's way too much fake news surrounding business and finance on the internet. And it's very important to have a strong filter between legitimate good advice and the uneducated ramblings of another guru. I hope this story, and by extension myself, fall under the former. Anyway, thank you for watching to the end and subscribe if you liked the video. Thanks. Thanks.